Hello Aquarius and welcome to your July 2019 mid-month reading. This is for Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius? July 2019. What is going on? If this resonates with you Aquarius, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it if this does not resonate with you at all Aquarius please do check your moon your rising and your Venus side as this will not resonate with every Aquarius out there one more for Aquarius okay please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for Aquarius for July 2019. For their mid-month reading, what is going on with Aquarius? What is going on with Aquarius for July 2019? Okay. Okay, I'm seeing a brand new beginning in love here. I'm seeing a fresh energy come in here for you that's going to be a way more balanced than what you've been dealing with, Aquarius, okay? You've suffered a loss here. You've suffered a broken heart, okay? You may be in a lot of pain right now because you're still very much focused on this. Something toxic brought this to you. Something hurts you bad, okay? Could have been a third-party situation, whatever the case may be. It was toxic, and it hurt you, all right? A lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of just nonsense, all right? Um, <laughs> the challenge is to get something balanced in, in your life, to get something real, to get something, somebody that wants to be in it for the, for the long term. That, that's the, okay, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. All right, so I'm going to read the energies of the cards here, okay? If the sign of the person that you're dealing with or have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. And some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Something, somebody brought something toxic to your doorstep and it hurts you deeply, okay? It, it, there were tears, there was pain depression okay you really felt this loss on a soul level here three of swords this is air energy gemini libra and uh, aquarius the situation things were not balanced and you're looking for something balanced uh, there was no reciprocity here there was no equal give and take there was no equal exchange of emotion things were not balanced um i'm looking at this and i'm looking at this and i'm looking at this and I am seeing that somebody was stringing you along, okay? They were stringing you along, okay? And you're having a hard time letting go of that, but it's, 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 it's like, it's almost like I can hear somebody saying, how could I let this happen again? But, but besides that point, you know, it's put you on the defense, okay? Um, and you're very guarded with your emotions right now, for, for sure, but you're having a hard time letting go of this. You're still thinking about this heartache. You're still thinking about this toxic situation, but you're most definitely on defense here. It's really throwing you for a loop here, Aquarius, okay? Somebody was giving you breadcrumbs, stringing you along, all right? It was not balanced. What you are looking for, the goal here, is somebody that makes you balanced, Somebody that's going to put the work in. Somebody's going to put the effort in. This keeps coming up in these readings. Six of Pentacles here. This is Earth Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You want something real. The challenge is to find something real, something tangible, something that you can hold on to. A King of Pentacles type of energy. Okay, that is the challenge. Somebody that's going to offer you long-term stability, long-term commitments here. Somebody that's in it to win it. 
all right? Stable, grounded energy. That is the challenge. Whatever this was that you were dealing with that absolutely broke your heart, Aquarius, this it was not stable. It was not built on a firm foundation. This is what you're looking for. And the challenge is finding it, male or female. Does not matter, this King of Pentacles. The energy of this card is stability. The energy of this card is let's grow um, from the ground up, okay? And let's make let's make it to where this this is an unbreakable bond, an unbreakable commitment. Let's make it real, right? More earth energy here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay. So the advice is you need to come to a realization, a decision to let the past go, to decide to move away from it because it's, it's literally blocking your blessings, okay? You're, you're still all up in your head about it. Um, I feel like you've, you've kind of closed off to anything new, but if you make a decision to move away from this negative energy, from this toxic energy, something new can come in for you, okay? Um, and it's something much better, all right? So there's something better out there for you, Aquarius. So judgment, making that decision, making that decision to let the past go and to move forward here. That is what this is all about. Your focus right now is this toxic energy. You're still trying to re-examine this, still thinking about it, still mulling it over in your mind as to what happened. Maybe you're thinking, well, if I had done this and I had done that, you know, then maybe it would have been more balanced. Or if I had pulled back a little bit, maybe they would have come towards me more. You know, you're, you're, you're going over all these different scenarios in your head. You're still thinking about this toxic energy. Please believe, okay, that this person, this was a big lesson for you to learn, number one. Number two, this is Capricorn energy, by the way. Number two, um... I feel like no matter what you did or did not do, okay, it was going to end up like this anyway, because this was a big lesson for you to learn. It's, it's kind of like um, you had to, you know, get a glimpse of how, uh, how bad things could be so that you could continue on your path to getting what you want here, Aquarius, and it's this. It's somebody that's got real offers. It's somebody that's stable and secure and that can provide loyalty and long-term commitments, right? Not this. But that's what you're still focused on right now. You're having a hard time letting that go because you're still mulling it over in your mind. You're still thinking about it. You're, you're all up in your head about it, okay? So what this is saying, your advice, judgment, time to make a decision, a clear-cut decision to walk away from that. Okay, and I keep, you know, this has been like my motto this whole month, if not even before that. If it's not making you happy, why are you holding on to it? Why? Why are you holding on to it? Because you're blocking your blessings right now. Okay, so advice, let it go. Make a decision to let it go and move forward here. Why? Because there's something much better coming for you, Aquarius. There is something much better. Ace of Cups, this is a brand new beginning in love, and it is not with this person that did not provide you with the reciprocity that you needed. This is, an, this is a non-toxic situation, okay? So water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this is a fresh new start with someone new, okay? With someone new. So let's get some more information here for you. Ace of Cups, please. Clarify that Ace of Cups. More information for Aquarius. July 2019 for their mid-month reading. What is going on here? 
what is going on yeah and it's something that you've been waiting for this is something uh, you're turning your back this is what this is you're turning your back on this toxic situation and you're looking out into the future and what do you see a brand new beginning in love you, you see there's hope there okay three of wands this is fire energy aries leo and sagittarius this is like a, like a true love situation that you've been waiting for. And then we have the Six of Swords. So you're moving away from this drama, this drama right here, all this rough water, and you're moving forward. The Swords you're taking with you. Why? Because it's a lesson. This is a big lesson. It's a lesson on what you don't want. Okay? And you're going towards your peace. You're going towards something that you do want. Do you see? You're moving towards your future right? You're looking out into the horizon. You're looking out, out, moving on, moving forward. And what do you see, right? What's, what's waiting on the other side of this? All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say for Aquarius for July 2019. For their mid-month reading, this is for Aquarius. What is going on here? This is for Aquarius. What is going on? What is going on here for Aquarius? For July 2019, for their mid-month reading for Aquarius. What is going on here? We have worth waiting for, right? Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. So, yes. This, this may take some time for you to heal from this situation and to start moving forward. But like I said, on the other side of this, what's waiting on the other side of this, what you are looking out towards, right? This one's looking out towards the horizon. This one's looking out towards the horizon. Is this brand new beginning in love here? And when it does come in, it's going to take you completely by surprise with that Knight of Swords there. So it's just a matter of timing here. It truly, truly is. Now with this toxic situation that has been brewing and you're trying to move away from, they may come back in, okay, and want another chance here. Just saying. But you need to make a very clear, clear decision that this is something that you are not going to tolerate and you are moving towards your brand new beginning in love. You're moving towards like a true love situation, somebody that you can share your heart with and your emotions with. Because this right here, it was not equal, it was not balanced. Now this person that brought this toxicity to the table that, that broke your heart, they may come back in and try to fix it. But Aquarius, you need to make it abundantly clear that you're moving on and you're moving on to something better, okay? Because I don't see this um, as uh, a change in any time soon, okay? It's very chaotic energy right here, all right? A lot of drama. All right, so that is your July 2019 mid-month reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I have tweaked the schedule just a little bit um, in order for more notifications to be sent out. That is the reasoning behind that. Um, you can find the schedule in my about section or in the description box of each video. And usually your reading will, your weekly reading will be out on Tuesdays. Okay. Um, also, you can find the live schedule there as well, and I usually go live um, nearly every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. Next week, I'll be working on your future love readings for July 2019, so check all of that out. Aquarius, I hope you have a beautiful week and a great day, and I will talk to you soon. God bless.